Hey guys, Dean here. So you're interested in setting up gift cards on Shopify. The gift card market is absolutely huge. I'm sure you've walked into maybe like a superstore or a mall or some kind of supermarket and you've seen a huge line of a ton of gift cards for different products and services. We're talking about Google Play gift cards, Netflix, Amazon credit. People buy gift cards regularly for events like birthdays and Christmas presents and they sell off the shelves, right? So maybe you want to take advantage of this and actually set up your own gift cards and sell them on your Shopify store. So I'm going to show you how to set up gift cards, how the gift card system works in Shopify and how you can use it for your store. Now you probably necessarily won't use this method for a dropshipping store. Mainly you'll use it for some other kind of branded store, but it applies to any kind of Shopify store, right? I'm just going to show you how it actually works. So let's not waste time. Let's jump into it. So we're on the Shopify dashboard, right? Now in the bottom left-hand side, we have settings. So click on this. And on the left-hand side of the settings box, we have gift cards. So click on this. So this will allow us to set up the options and settings for our gift cards okay so auto expiration is where we can set if our gift cards expire after a certain amount of time that they've been purchased so if someone buys a gift card from our store let's say we give them a gift card which has $50 of credit on it right is it going to expire in a certain date from when they purchased it or is the credit always going to last okay so you could do a gift card which expires so maybe the gift card is only valid for maybe one year right or maybe it's valid for for 18 months or even 30 days. But when you do this, you need to make sure in the description of the gift card product that you actually state this in the terms and regulations because someone might be giving this for a Christmas present and then someone either doesn't want it and it gets passed on or it doesn't get redeemed for a long time. And then they realize when they try to redeem it months later, why is this not working? They complain, they call you out for scamming them, etc. So make sure if you do gift cards that expire, you clearly state this on the product page and in your terms and conditions. But I'd recommend just issuing gift cards which never expire because they can only be used once anyway. So you may as well just do that. But this is how you change it. Obviously, countries have different laws for the gift card expiry dates. It may not actually be legal to do this in certain territories. So make sure you do your research. If you are selling products globally on the international market, you need to make sure that this is legal in each zone. If it's not legal all around the world, I recommend just making sure they never expire just to save yourself from legal trouble, right? If not, check the laws before changing this, okay? Now, you also have Apple Wallet. So you can give your customers a digital gift card to use online or in your retail stores using Apple Wallet Passes, okay? So I'm not going to go into too much further explanation about this, but this is where you can customize the look and feel of your card, which is a digital card using the Apple Wallet. So we could change the name. This is obviously our store. I could call it Tutorial Gift Card. And as you can see, there's a balance here on the digital card. We can change the card color. So I could change this to green or something like that, which <laughs> actually looks pretty horrible, but change the color. We could change the text text color and the secondary text color. We could use a custom logo, which you can upload. That will be displayed in the top left-hand side and also custom banner, which will be displayed here where the template is. And we can press save if we want to use the Apple wallet. Press the save button, the big green button in the top right of the screen. Now, where it says products on the left-hand side, we can also click on gift cards. This takes us to the gift card section. So we can start selling gift cards using this section and we can add gift cards as products to issue to customers who buy them, or we can issue them directly to customers who have already bought from our store, right? So this is where we can kind of have a little bit of brand integrity and a relationship with our customers and improve the loyalty of our customers through giving them free gift cards. So you can also use this for a multitude of reasons, right? If you get some kind of refund or return, you can issue a gift card instead. So let's say that our refund policy doesn't cover past 30 days, but our customer has a return and we want to out of goodwill still credit them, right? You can just press issue gift card. What this does is it lets us issue a gift card to a specific customer. This will be our gift card code that they can use. The initial value is what the gift card is worth. So maybe I want to give them a £30 gift card as a partial refund for a product that was £45 or something. And we can also set the expiration date in here, just like we could in the initial settings for all gift cards, which I showed you before. And what we can do is on the right hand side, we can find a pre-existing customer or create a new one. So if you want to send the gift card code, you can add a customer with an email address or phone number. So we can first search our customers here based on the past records of orders. This is a completely new store just for this tutorial, so I don't have any customers. We can also add notes, which are basically just for you to reference what this gift card is, why it was issued, so you don't forget and have a record of it. As for customers, since I don't have one, I'm just going to create a new one. So I could just type in Paul and then the last name could be test and it could be test123 at gmail.com, something like that. And then obviously the phone number, I'm going to leave this out because I might accidentally type in someone's real number. I'm going to press save 
remove. This has created a new customer, so I'm going to issue this to a guy called Paul Test and press activate and send. This will activate the card based on this new generated code you've made for a value of £30. So we can activate and send it. And a trial shop, which is what I have right now to show you this, can't send gift cards. You have to have a Shopify subscription, okay? So you need to make sure you're paying for the Shopify plan to use gift cards. But that's obviously how you would do it. And then he would have a gift card for £30 to spend on my entire store, right? So that's how you issue them to customers or pre-existing customers or new customers based on an email. Now we can also add it as a product. So if we want to have gift cards purchasable, just like how Amazon has Amazon wallet credit, just like how Google Play has credit for their app store, they sell gift cards. We can actually add a gift card product. So we can add this to our store. They can buy the gift card. So my store name is tutorial products. So I'm just going to call it tutorial products, gift card credit or something like that. Just call it something more creative because you'll probably have a real brand. Obviously be creative, write a real description. I'm just going to put ads balance to your store credit to order any products from our catalog. Just something like this. Be creative if you've got a good website because you want it to look good. You can add media. So pictures, videos, you can add variants. Denominations is basically going to be the different versions of the card they can buy. So what I mean by this is this is just like variants with a physical product. Denominations is basically what I'm offering. So by default, we're offering gift cards that come in 10 pounds, 25 pounds, 50 pounds, or hundred dollars. We could also add one that's like $500 for people who are rich. You can add as many as you want. And obviously you can press the trash button to remove them. Search engine listing is the SEO. That's kind of self-explanatory. And then if we scroll up, we have our online store and the product is active. Once we publish it, we can type in the product type. I'd recommend just typing in gift card and collections. You could also type in gift cards as well. You can press create a collection if it doesn't exist because you need to create it, but we'll put the product type as a gift card and tags you can enter them too. So then we press save the big green save button and now we've saved a gift card. So I'm going to go on my store, which is a default store. Now we have this tutorial product store. Now, if we scroll down, you can see tutorial products gift card credit is now added as a product. We have no images whatsoever. So that's why it's kind of bare bones, but you can see we've added it. Now we have a gift card or gift card credit. We have the price, which is currently in AUD. This is a currency converter app. I have a video on how to install this. You won't have this by default, so you can ignore that. But we have a £10 card as the default. If we select any of the denominations or variants, we can order one for a greater value and press add to cart. Okay, so now we have gift card credit. These will add credit to the customers to actually spend on our store if we had like clothing or physical products. And that's how it works. That's how gift card credit works on Shopify, how to set up gift cards and how to issue them to pre-existing customers. If you have any questions on how this works, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if this video is valuable in any way, because I'm bringing you a lot of videos on Shopify and Shopify dropshipping to help you guys start up your business. I'm releasing these videos entirely free. You can check out my four hour Shopify dropshipping video course in the description. Also completely free to watch on YouTube. All I ask for you is to subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you soon.